Sorry about that, guys. We're just gonna move on here. Pretend that didn't happen. Uh, next, I want to talk about the snippet text, which is kind of the gray text that's under yeah, your permalink. Uh, just remember, Google does a pretty good job of trying to guess what's going on here, but you'll look more professional if you edit it yourself. And of course, if your customers are really thorough and if you're you know, selling a very detailed product or if you're selling a more expensive product, people do tend to read more. Uh, on the other hand, if you're just you know, selling like cheap goods or if you're selling something very casual, you might not have to pay attention to this. Okay, so we finished our edits here for our main elements, but there's one more important thing here and is focus keyword so you better hope your piece of content every single clue points to lucas hospital so here you have you know lucas hospital is a focus keyword in the title it's in the meta description it's in the url appears in 10 percent of content so on and so forth it's all a bit of a empirical science, but it is a, a very mature science. They do find that, you know, and I found in real life that competitors can actually outrank you with lower traffic if their pages have the right focus. One more thing, don't don't get obsessed with getting green check marks on every one of these. You're you don't you don't get Google ranking just by scoring high on these apps. In the end, this is just a tool. Um, your content has to be riveting, it has to make the user scroll through your content. Remember that Google knows how long you stay on a page for. They know pretty much everything about you. So uh, don't just, just think of this as a good guideline. But for example, I, I, know, I know plenty of posts that only have uh, 100 words but they have a lot of great pictures and then a lot of real organic traffic and they beat out you know long form quote unquote long form blog posts so it's all about your people it's all about your content don't don't stress this too much you might notice one more thing here subheadings subheadings like h2 h h3 h4 uh, if you're not sure what i'm talking about make sure you go away this is a very very important thing for long form blog posts and kind of articulating kind of connecting with your customers because people who read a blog post they need things to be broken down into chapters that are you know more easily digestible so make sure you read up on subheadings So one last thing I want to talk about here is the alt images. Um, you probably have heard of this attribute before. It helps you get found on Google image search. So if you're an e-commerce store, of course, there are plugins that will auto-populate all your alt text for you. Um, Shopify has a good one too. So make sure you read up about that. that. That goes into a little too deep for this tutorial. So we're just going to move on to the next section here. Next, we're going to talk about Yoast SEO plugin. They're the number one SEO plugin for WordPress. They're a little more bloated and a little less user friendly than Rank Math, but they're kind of that trusty steed that everyone's been with for a while. And uh, I noticed some other YouTubers have experienced uh, drops in traffic when they switch from, you know, one SEO plugin to another SEO plugin or another SEO plugin, I would focus my time on my content rather than what SEO plugin I'm using. So yeah, let's get back focus onto the page here. Uh, and let's go to general settings, wait for it to load. So you'll notice this is a pretty big plugin. So it's got lots of lots of, you know, different products, different notifications. Some people don't like it. I just ignore it. Just just go with the default settings. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, okay, let's go to search appearance. Search appearance basically edits your snippet. Just like rank math. There's a bit of there's a bit of different philosophies of how you want to organize your titles and what you want to do to it, but you know it's all there. It gives you what you need. 
And so Google Search Console, what it does is it scans your website for search errors. So, so one time I, you know, misplaced a page, uh, misplaced a table, and the Google Search Console told me that, you know, it wasn't looking right for mobile phones. So it's really useful. Read up on it. I hope you connect this. Step three, SEO for individual posts and pages. We are gonna add a new page and you'll see how. Yeah, we're just gonna add, let's say, we're just, okay, we're gonna edit our old page here. This is the page we created earlier. And just like Rank Math is able to preview the snippet. And oh yeah, so make sure you click on that and you'll see a title box come up. And there's some clever ways of editing your title and also your slug. Your slug is your permalink, that's all it is. Okay, so let's click on SEO analysis. This is the important part. This is what you want to really pay attention to. Key phrase link. It's red just because we haven't set a key phrase yet. Remember, key phrase is just focus keyword. Same thing. So it's going to detect how much of that focus keyword was in our blog post or page. Meta description link. Again, we, we didn't really do it yet, but if you fill it up, you'll see how it works. Text length. The longer you can captivate your readers for, the better. Image all attribute. Very important to understand if you sell products based on images rather than words. SEO title. Clickbait before clickbait was a thing. Okay guys, thanks for making it to the end of my video. Uh, which one are you going to decide with? You're going to go with Rank Math, which is super newbie friendly. It's got more free features. Or are you going to go with something more dependable, like Yoast? Yoast has been around for so long. They have a lot of different products. They have more funding for support. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one I would go with actually. Um, just because I've been with Yoast for a long time, I might be kind of biased, so I don't want to recommend anything. And I, I honestly don't think the features, the additional features would really sell me. Like, uh, I don't know, I, I just worry about getting real customers to my, uh, to my business and having everything set up correctly. I think both of these plugins are excellent plugins and I hope to see Rank Math really catch up to Yoast in the number of user base. You know, let me know in the comments below if you have different experiences or if I made a mistake or if you want to cover more in detail. So yeah, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.